hello friends. So this is probably a really dumb video to create today. One, I promise we'll get into it, but one, I just left from getting 32 units Botox injected so I have lumps all over my face. Two, I had to do my, my makeup in a dark bathroom slash my dark vehicle. Three, it's pouring outside. I don't know if you can hear the rain, but um, I had to go to a different place than normal from a dermatology appointment, different location, and it happens to be near my favorite Barnes & Noble in my state that I live in. And so I was like, I can't waste this trip of coming out here and not go to this Barnes & Noble. So then I was like, oh, we could do a little come book shopping with me type of vlog situation. I will tell you guys, just like little random updates. This is what I was reading in the appointment because I had to wait a really long time. So the liar is not, I'm on page 430. So pretty far into it. Um, and I'm liking it better than Mask of Mirrors, actually. I do think that there's been quite a lot of improvements in things, but this book is confusing. Anyways, this isn't a reading vlog. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so let's drive from the dermatologist that I'm at now to my favorite Barnes & Noble and cross our fingers that it's not freaking pouring when I get to that location, even though it's only like 15 minutes away. So extra cross them. And let's see what I get. I don't know. I think there's been some new releases um, since I've been to the bookstore last. Actually, I know there has been because I have not been in a bookstore in quite some time, actually. But the reason that this is 100% necessary today because I'm going to New York City next weekend and the following week I'm, I'm going to Destin, Florida. So like I have no business buying books. However, I only have one unread book at home besides the one that I need to finish still. So like your girl has got to get some reading material um, because not having a book is not optional. <laughs> that's, that's not an option in my life. So let's see what we can find. I mean, um, some options are always continuing on with series I've been reading. So like if the third book in the mask Rook in, the, in the Rook and the Rose series is there or the third book in the um it's like Chaos Vector and that's book two I think what is the first book called and no can't think of it for the life of me but so maybe we'll pick up some sequels or maybe there will be some new releases some exciting things I don't know but yeah follow me let's go
Okay guys, because I have time to kill before my hair appointment and I'm trying not to go home first because it's a waste of time and gas money, we're gonna do the haul in the car here. And there were so many books to choose from. This Barnes and Noble has like two full floors. There's the escalators, there's like huge sections for everything, like a huge horror section, a huge manga section, a huge young adult. They have just like mystery thriller, they have religion and politics and science. And then when you walk in, they have a really like larger than my normal bookstore has for like all the new releases and stuff. And so I got one newer release and then two sequels. Um, so hopefully I got a little bit of footage, but it's been quite some time since I have filmed publicly by myself because usually just Paul Paul's with me and so like it's a little bit easier when he is with me than when I'm doing it by myself are you staying there sir I'm gonna wait a minute somebody tried to park right next to me out of the like 500 empty spots hold on I don't know what my man was doing but that felt like a long time anyways where was I um I tried to get some clips for you guys because it is a cool store but then also I was just browsing a lot of the books so I wanted to get a young adult book by an author that I really really loved oh I also have to say I justified buying these in store because I'm not gonna lie like my budget and <laughs> my allowance for buying things I don't need is smaller right now and so I have to get books the cheapest way possible. I cannot afford to get all of my books like independent bookstore. I will order online if it's cheaper. That's that's where your girl's at and I know a lot of you are there too so let's not pretend that everyone else isn't doing the same thing. So anyways um, this one was 20% off so I've been feeling like getting a young adult book just to read in, some, in the middle of some of the more dense high adult fantasy and sci-fi that I've been reading just to kind of break things up and have like a, a more fun like whimsical story. So this author, uh, Elizabeth Lim, she is the author of, should be in here somewhere, right? So she wrote Six Crimson Cranes, which I loved, and The Dragon's Promise. Now I haven't read the Spin the Dawn duology. Maybe I should. It's just the premise of that one like didn't interest me at all. So I never picked it up, but if I really like this one, then I will go back. So this is Her Radiant Curse, and I am totally obsessed with all of her covers. Her covers have the most beautiful artwork ever. So what is uh, this one supposed to be about? Chani was not born a monster, but when her own father offers her in sacrifice to the demon witch, she is forever changed. So I read that line and I was like, okay, I'm kind of with this already. Cursed with a serpent's face, Chani is the exact opposite of her beautiful sister, Vana. The only person in, oh my God, this is, this is connected to the other books. I mean, it has to be. I mean, they're like the same names and serpent. So I'm not, I mean, that's not like spoilery, but it's definitely has to be connected to six crimson cranes. Okay, so at 17, Vanna is to be married off in a vulgar contest that will enrich the coffers of the village leaders. Only Chani, Chani, I don't know, who has had to rely on her strength and cunning all these years can defend her sister against the cruelest of suitors. But in doing so, she becomes the target of his wrath, launching a grisly battle royale, a quest over land and sea, a romance between sworn enemies, and a choice that will strain Chani's heart to its breaking point. So Asian folklore and I loved her last series. So I'm really excited to read this. I can't decide yet if I will read this before reading these other two, because like I said, I've been reading The Liar's Knot and I'm going to finish that like in the next couple of days. So my one plan was to pick up Catalyst Gate next by Megan O'Keefe and this is is it O'Keefe or O'Keefe I haven't watched booktube in a while <laughs> um or I've watched very little booktube for a while so this one once again was literally only a dollar cheaper online so like no guilt buying it in store this is the third book in her trilogy I don't even know how to describe this trilogy if you've not started it yet but there's just a lot of twists and turns that you're not expecting. Like a lot of things are not as they seem. And then you have this girl and her brother are like kind of the main characters. And then there's like artificial intelligence as characters. There's some pretty good friendships. And I really like how the dynamics have changed in the second book. And so that gives me hope that like 
book three will be even better and it gives you enough of like a mystery and cliffhanger that you have to keep going because she definitely likes to end on cliffhanger leaving you wanting more and like I'm a reader who really likes that like I want every end of a chapter to be like oh I have to keep reading to get to the next thing and I feel like that's how this is so how long is this one 540 550 564 uh, I think this might be the longest one in the series yet, but I want to read this and finish it because I would like to pick up her newer series, but I obviously am like a completionist and would like to finish this trilogy before starting a new one. And I really am enjoying the sci-fi aspects of this. It's like not too techy and not too complex. Like I would say this is a very easy sci-fi read for like any level sci-fi reader. So I got this one and then the last one I got, and then these should last me like couple weeks maybe once again this was like basically the same price online and any guesses probably no guesses because you guys don't even know what I've been reading oh my god so weird what is time what is life okay I got Labyrinth's Heart by M.A. Carrick so this is the Rook and the Rose trilogy and I'm sort of falling in love with it like I have very mixed emotions about this I'm sure I'll do some wrap-ups where you guys will hear more of my thoughts soon um you have once again like undercover identities and people are tricksters trying to win their way to the top of these like merchant houses I, I don't know if that's technically their name but that's what's coming to my mind right now for the sake of like power and wealth but then you have this aspect dealing with like card readings and there's this magic that is not really described or talked about too too often but it is becoming a bigger role in book two that's very interesting so I am a sucker for like the hidden identity and like misunderstanding of you don't know who is who I like eat that up every time and so there's a several cases of that in here and it once again I think the characters are compelling the plot is twisty and interesting it keeps you on the edge of your seat and on your toes and I will say that I feel that this book series is very complex I've read a lot of dense high fantasy complex world building like Malazan and things like that and this isn't complex in that way it's just complex as in the world building is not ever info dumped on you and it's something that's not like super spelled out and so you're constantly piecing things together as time goes on and at first it drove me nuts that you weren't getting enough like information but now I kind of like the little slow tidbits of info that we get as we go and the slow reveals and I think it does keep you on the edge of your seat and wanting more and keeps you very intrigued so like I am a fan of it and then we just got to some reveals in book two like I won't say reveals of what but some reveals that are gripping me to where I'm like what is gonna happen I do not know what's gonna happen but I really like the characters in this I think the world building is very interesting the magic is interesting it's like the names of the people and the places and the power positions are kind of complex to me but I definitely recommend it and I can see how one would benefit from rereading this series um, because if you guys remember Back when I was going through treatment, I started book one and DNF'd it like halfway through because my brain could not have anything to do with it. I was like, say what? Like, what is happening? So this one is 632 pages. So I think that's about the same as book two. I love that for me because I hate, I, de I despise when authors make book one and then book two is a little longer and then book three is the longest. Like I like a nice equal trilogy. Why, why does every book have to get longer? No, I just don't think that's necessary. So those are the three books for this little impromptu Barnes and Noble come book shopping with me book haul. And yeah, you'll have to let me know if you guys enjoyed it. If you saw any books in the B-roll footage that you guys are interested in and have you guys read any of these? I know that one's super new. I haven't heard anyone talk about it yet. So I'm excited and that's all for now. I gotta go make a couple other stops before my hair appointment and I will See you guys sometime. I can't focus. I can't